All right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome to another post game and another NFL post game show. I am your host of the RTS with Oscar Montiel YouTube channel. We also got the host of the J Sports YouTube channel. We are we do co streams for NFL content. I know that we don't stream a lot of Commanders games, but this one was a little special just because it was a battle of the Beltway, which Washington lost thirty to twenty three, and we'll break down uh, the game here in a second. But before we get into this. Uh, I'd like to remind you guys that if you're finding us for the first time, make sure you uh, sub to both of our channels, follow us on TikTok, turn on the post notification bell on YouTube, uh, support our PayPal's. All those links are in the description below. So without further ado, let's talk about this game. Here are my takes. Look, is Jaden Daniels a guy? Yes. He started off okay in that first half, 14 of 19 or whatever it was. Okay, I get that. Um, was did the coaching fail him? Yes. Um, not the best coach uh, coaching offensively from Cliff Kingsbury in this game. Uh, Jaden Daniels got sacked like I think four times. Um, was a little you know, uh, Alamade Zacchaeus dropped past, uh, dropped a lot some passes. Uh, Terry McLaurin was, you know, was decent enough. Got two touchdowns today. Uh, the the running game, Brian Robinson was missed. Uh, this is proof that they they actually do need that that bruiser at running back because uh, Austin and Eckler and and Jeremy McNichols are guys who you know can receive out of the backfield, and the Ravens just read all over that. You know, even though Austin Eckler did have big, uh, you know, big runs here and there, but Brian Robinson is known for that, you know, get you two to four yards, make it second and six, third and short, so that way you don't have to throw it all the time. Jaden Daniels has to throw it more often uh, in this game. Um, The defense. The defense was terrible, and terrible with a capital T. Dorrance Armstrong went down with an injury. Uh, Jonathan Allen went down with a pectoral injury. I don't know the extent of uh, Dorrance Armstrong's uh, injury. Uh, I got to look on Twitter to see what that was. But I know that Jonathan Allen uh, is a pectoral injury. So we'll see how long, uh, you know, he's, if, you know, if he'll miss any time. It's a week where they got to figure out who's, you know, Duran Payne and who else. Federian Mathis, uh, you know, maybe Jerzon Newton. Uh, gets more of a prominent role, but after Darren, uh, Dorrance Armstrong and Jonathan Allen went down, you can tell that the defense just didn't have the heart for it anymore. And the secondary, again, trash like usual. And we knew this coming in, and I said this in a in a lot of the preview videos leading up to this game. Five players the defense needed to pay special attention to: Lamar Jackson. Um, Derrick Henry, Zay Flowers, Isaiah Likely, and Mark Andrews. And what happens? They let those guys run the show. Wow. So there you go. That's an testament to this defense. Now, the question is, because I know that Dan Quinn doesn't call plays. He 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 left it to Joe, Joe Witt, the defensive coordinator. I think Dan Quinn should should call plays from here on out. I think it's they need to change it. They need a change. And I know and again trade, you know, with the trade deadline coming up, you know, that there's a month left where that trade deadline's coming up. Maybe they also consider trading for a corner. More on that in a separate video and a separate short or what have you. But they got to consider of strengthening that that secondary. But those are my th- overall thoughts, Jason. What are your thoughts as well? Yeah, and of course, family's here, so I got the background noise because they just don't care. Um, yeah, you kind of basically nailed it. They had to look out for five dudes, and, and you named them all: Zay Flowers. What did he do? Nine receptions. King Henry. What did he do? Two, three touchdowns. Um, Isaiah likely, what did he do? You saw exactly what he did. Lamar Jackson, what did he do? Like Mark Andrews, a touchdown. It, it, it's just terrible coaching, terrible game plan. Uh, they ran no schemes. 
Um, it was bizarre to watch. It was bizarre to kind of see that happen. And uh, I think you're right. Dan Quinn should make the defensive calls. Joe Witt is absolutely a disaster. I think the Washington defense, as you said, was trash. And your offense, I mean, the corners on the Ravens were dropping interceptions. They were dropping potential picks. They also had problems, too. And Washington couldn't capitalize, and that's a problem. Jaden Daniels was completely off his game. He was badly coached today. Washington had a week to prepare. It looked like they just came out with a pre-game plan, like, okay, try this. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Let's go practice something else. That's exactly what that looked like. Um, I think the YouTubers and the commanders, all these people that said, oh, my God, Washington's it. You guys just took on one of the best teams in the NFL and couldn't do it. So they, I, I think they need to come back down to reality. I'm sorry, but they do. The fact that you couldn't, you know, you couldn't stop a good Ravens offense. And here's the tough part because here's their upcoming schedule. They won't have a good team uh, until let's see. They got the Panthers, the Bears, which we'll see. What, we'll see about what the Bears are. The Bears are still a question mark right now. Um, but they got the Panthers, the Bears. I don't know who they play after. Let's see. Next week is what the twentieth. Yeah, the bear, the Panthers, the Bears, the Steelers. Those are your three next opponents, and if they win against the Panthers, which they should, and they should put hands on the on the Panthers. Let's say the they go Bears, two one. Yeah, but here's the thing: the Steelers is a winnable game, but watch them put up a a performance like last week against the Browns, where mm-hmm. they start off slow and then they go out and they smack them, and then. Here come the here come fans who are thinking, oh, we're good. But when you got the next best, the next best team that they face is Dallas. I think. Again, I have to take yeah. a look at that schedule. Mm-hmm. So, and and that's not even a great team either. But but but, come on. Dallas isn't going to be in the NFC Championship. Okay, the Ravens are going to be in the AFC Championship. I believe it. Let's just put it this way. If your team wants to do anything in the playoffs, they're not going to play like this. Okay. You guys are playing all easy teams and you're not getting challenged enough. And it shows. It genuinely shows. And the coaching needs to change. The game plans, the schemes, the ball schemes, everything needs to change if you guys want a chance at anything. It's just, it, yeah. it's unfortunate. That this is such a disaster. You have the top pick in the NFL draft, number one draft pick. You got Dan Quinn, who wanted a chance at a head coaching job, and this is what we get. Oh, we're playing a bunch of easy teams. We're so great. We're amazing. Yeah, tell me what you did today. Who'd you play against and how'd you do? Because I can tell you, I give you guys a C a C plus at most. Yeah, I'm yep. Yeah, I'm I'm right. Yeah, C plus. C plus. Because at least they kept it close. Yeah. At least they kept it close. At least when the Ravens made it two scores, they responded with either a touchdown or a field goal. Um, And and thank goodness it wasn't more because John Harbaugh decided not to go for it (laughs) on fourth down. Yeah. And also, the only positive that I could take away from this defense, they got a turnover. Yay. In the first quarter, they stopped. They they basically delayed the inevitable because Lamar was cruising. That that offense was cruising, and then they get an interception. Yeah, so. yeah, and I but they have the TV blasting, so that's why I had to put the music up like that because obviously they don't care. But yeah, I mean they had it cruising, and look what happened. Look what happened. So, yeah. Come on, Washington YouTubers. What are you going to say now? What are you going to say now? Oh, how good your team is. Oh, we're awesome. We're all good. Come on. I want to hear it. So, anyway, that that's my yeah. thoughts. Yeah. Um, I'm looking to see if there's any comments. 
Okay, no one? Okay. Uh, we're good. Alright, well, that is not it for us today. Well, that's it for this, uh, this game and this post-game.